Welcome back to our tech. Today we're going to review the Royal Clutch G87 wireless keyboard. So I got this keyboard from banggood.com. I'll leave links in the description below in case you're interested or want to know more about this product. So this is called the Royal Clutch G87. It's a Bluetooth wireless keyboard. Um, it's uh, it's mechanical and this one uh, was sent with the red keys. So let's go ahead and open uh, the packaging real quick. So yeah, it uh, comes in this nice eco-friendly packaging. Some of the model numbers are mentioned on the box and uh, it is made in China, of course, and the color is black. So it has a USB 2 connector and uh, 87 keys, just like the model number says. So let's go ahead and open this box up. Okay, inside the box, uh, you'd see that you can see the keyboard right in front. There's a small card which has some branding. Uh, let's go through the specs again. So this is a USB 2 wired or wireless keyboard and uh, it runs on Bluetooth 3.0 has 87 keys, has a battery which lasts about 100 hours, they say. Uh, so here is the manual. So again, uh, pretty detailed, there's a lot of instructions on it. And you would need this to kind of understand how to program some of the keys. It's got the macro programmable keys on it. And it also has some pre-function, uh, pre-designed, pre you know, lighting keys, which means you press a few keys on the keyboard and it'll kind of change the colors. So there's also a high quality USB 3.0 cable included in this, which is also the connector. So this cable is really nice. It's about 1.2 meters long. Also in the box, I can see some additional, um, I guess these are legs for the keyboard to increase the height. And you also have a keyboard key removal tool. So let's go ahead and open the polythene cover under which the keyboard is present. So it, pe it feels pretty heavy and solid. There you go, so that's the G87 looks like any other keyboard if you ask me and it's only when you look at the side you get to know that there are actually mechanical keys on it so it's built pretty solid and royal clutch badging just above the scroll keys nothing written on it uh, on some of the sides so at the back you would see there's a small switch which basically would probably turn on the Bluetooth mode on this and uh, there's also details about the voltage rating etc on it and like i mentioned i think these legs are actually replaceable so you get uh, the ones with a little more height in case some of you like it so let me just go ahead and plug the usb 3.0 cable and that's a good thing about this because if you if you're worried about losing the cable or damaging it it's so easy to find a replacement it's just a usb 3 cable and other side you have the Royal Clutch badging. And that's on both sides. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug this on. Or maybe let's have a look at how we remove one of the keys. So there's, there's a key removal tool which they've given in. Uh, so let's just go ahead and try that before we kind of put this on. So all you're going to do is just slide the you know tool across a key which you want to remove and then just pull it up and that's it the key will come off and you can see the mechanical uh, button at the back of it so very simple to use anyway i'm going to plug this on now i'm connecting it to a laptop and let's see how it works okay it comes to life and it's sheer brilliance so this is a full fledged rgb keyboard so it's it can it can have all colors on one single key unlike some of the keyboards which have you know a dedicated color this one doesn't 
and look at the halo lights on the side. So this is something unique to this keyboard. So it's got this nice RGB key lighting even on the sides and that's individually controllable as well. Okay, looks brilliant. And uh, remember, this is a mechanical keyboard. So one of the great things about mechanical keyboards is the sound it makes when you actually type. So this is the red key, which is not clicky. Unlike the blue ones, these are not as noisy or clicky as the blue keys, but uh, they've got a different sound to it. So I'm gonna put a microphone next to the keyboard and just do some typing, just for you guys. So it's time to play with the lights now. Let's see some of the preset lighting options. Okay, that's one. There's another one. And these are quite common on RGB keyboards, but uh, at this price point, which is less than say $60 or three and a half thousand in Indian rupees, it's, it's really brilliant. This keyboard is awesome. So this has got different, you can even control the speed of the appearance of light. It's got controls for everything. And you can program your own keys if you want to. It's just brilliant. There's tons of options. Look at the side profile. So remember, you can change the lighting options by pressing the function key and the scroll key or, you know, one of the print screen buttons. At the same time, you can change the side profile lighting using the function key and I think it's a page down or page up key. Anyway, so this is using the red switch. Uh, so most gamers would know uh, that you know mechanical keyboards work amazing. They don't have this ghosting problem, which means you can press uh, multiple keys together and the computer will not kind of uh, stop reacting. Uh, th it's this keyboard is available in uh, you know different switch options. So it's got the blue switch, it's got the red switch, and it's got the brown switch. And every switch has its own characteristic. So you'll have to read, uh, read about it and you'll understand you know, which one you like more. If, you like, if you're the ones who like to type a lot, you can go for the blue, uh, blue keys because they make a nice clicky sound. And uh, you know, for someone who doesn't like a lot of noise, you can go for the red ones because they're pretty quiet. 
nevertheless these are very tactile anyway so this has the bluetooth option built in along with a battery in it they haven't mentioned what's the size of the battery but uh, it can give you up to 100 hours is what they claim i haven't tested it and it can pair up to three devices at this at the same time and you know store that information so to get it into pairing all you need to do is just press the function button and the tab key so the keyboard will switch from wireless to sorry wired to wireless and you'll have to make sure that you're unplugging the cable okay i'm going to go ahead and pair it with the mobile phone just to see how well it works with the mobile phone okay i'm going to put the pairing mode on to to put it in pairing mode you've got to press the function button and the p button the p key for about three seconds so i, I did have some trouble when i first tried it then i realized you know the cable was still plugged so i disconnected that and then tried it again it didn't work so i realized that i'll have to change the function mode again press the function button and the tab button the cap locks will blink thrice and then you press the function button and the p button for about three seconds okay once it gets into pairing mode you'll notice that you know the device will be detected on any bluetooth device so the phone is detected the keyboard it says rk bluetooth keyboard all you need to do is just pair it up. So this uses Bluetooth 3.0. Okay, and the device has been paired. So it's actually going to work with a mobile phone. So I'm going to just use, uh, say, Gmail. Okay, I'm gonna just start typing. Okay, there you go. It, it kind of starts working flawlessly. And the best part is the function buttons are still, you know, fully functional. I mean, it kind of uh, helps you navigate through the phone. So the home button will get you back. The mail button will get you back to Gmail. The volume button will control the volume of the phone which is brilliant so it works great so this is a nice keyboard and it can work with your mobile with your tablet or your desktop or your you know laptop which has bluetooth so all in all it's a great product to have at a great price point i definitely recommend this product um, i'll leave links in the description below as i mentioned and uh, feel free to like and share this video please do subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.